As we mentioned earlier, it was not unusual for people to go barefoot for the better part of the year on the American frontier. Johnny may have chosen to go barefoot simply because it was more comfortable, not because he objected to earthly possessions. He did wear ragged clothing, but not because of any religious belief. He just wasn't that into fashion. And he slept outside because he loved to be close to the world that God created, not because he was into self-denial. By all reports, he seems to have been exquisitely happy with the bare essentials. A few apple seeds, a few sprouts, a few old books to read, and to him, life was full of happiness. Swedenborg teaches that deliberate abstinence from the basic pleasures of life can lead to a sad, morose existence rather than to a happy one. Even worse, these life-denying practices can lead to judgmental attitudes and a sense of superiority, conditions that can suffocate spiritual growth. In brief, Swedenborg encourages people to enjoy their lives, including the vast range of natural delights that God has created for our use and enjoyment. In regard to the idea of denial, we should by all means deny the selfish demands of the ego, but not the simple pleasures of life. Swedenborg also cautions about going to the opposite extreme. While he does not condemn the drinking of intoxicating beverages, he does acknowledge that drunkenness can produce beast-like behavior. While he openly champions the importance of sexuality, he is clear that it most properly takes place within marriage. And while he heartily recommends that we enjoy ourselves thoroughly with all the creature comforts provided for humanity, he urges his readers to subordinate these lower loves to the higher loves of God and the neighbor.